give you a perfect metaphor. Um, actually, Kayvon, can I borrow you for a second? Round of applause for Kayvon. Now, Kayvon is a successful coach in Vancouver, speaker as well. So imagine this. Now, you work with a lot of different clients too, right? Yeah, Tim, yeah. yes. Right? I so, a lot today. OK, good. So imagine this. So imagine, Kayvon, you say, you, you, say, you know, I want to climb Mount Everest. OK, so that's his goal. OK, I want to climb Mount Everest. So if I just want to give you some information, I would say, hey, Kayvon, here's a map. Good luck. <laughs> Go climb. What's the problem with this? What's the problem with this? What are the chances of him making to Mount Everest and coming down alive? Zero. Zero. What do clients want? Here's what clients want. They want a guide. Someone who's been up there, preferably multiple times, and come back alive. And they say, you know what, let's, let's, let's tie the rope to each other, right? And let's, let's go. Let's go. Now, let me ask you a question. When you climb the Mount Everest, are there going to be some difficult times? Yes. Are there going to be storms? Are they going to be like horrific, like weather conditions? We know that because it's a worthy wild goal. Any worthy wild goal is like that. But we say, you know what, let's go. And sometimes he might slip. He might slip. I say, you know what, that's okay. That's okay. Let's go. Let's go. We're going to get there. We're going to get there, buddy. We're going to get there. And we get there and say, oh, man, look at this beautiful scenery, right? And then, you know, now we kind of have to go back down safely, right? Okay, let's go. Let's go. That's the difference. The king of high ticket sales, world's highest paid consultant, media celebrity, multi-millionaire entrepreneur, acclaimed TEDx speaker, international best-selling author, Dan Locke. That's the difference. Round of applause. Round of applause. You get that with just, oh, here's a map. When you give your client, oh, here's some PDF. Here, here's some, some stuff. Here's some video. You give them a map. You're asking them to die. Because you and I know the chance of them succeeding is zero or close to zero. Then why do you want to do that at all? Why do you want to do it to them? Why do you want to do this to yourself? Be the guide. Be the leader. Lead them to their victory and come back alive. That's what they want. They will slip. I will slip. It's like, that's why I love, how many have watched uh, We Were Soldiers by Mel Gibson? There's a scene, I wish I, I should have, I should have like, take that clip. There's a scene that I love, that he was doing a speech in front of all the soldiers. He said, I'll be the first one to step off the helicopter on the battlefield, and I'll be the last one to leave. I thought that was just so powerful. And that's the image that I have. When you work with your clients, are you the first one to step off the battle, step on the battlefield, and you make sure they all get to the finish line, and you say, I'm the last one to step on a helicopter and take them to safety. Okay, take two minutes to discuss what I've said so far. Go ahead. Stop. Please give them a high five and say, I only offer transformation. Don't fall in love with the products. Don't fall in love with the services. Fall in love with your clients. If you truly, deeply care about your clients' well-beings, the white clients, the highly committed clients, players with money, you get compensated beyond your imagination. Not only you get the money. The money, it's there. You get the lifestyle. You'll get the fulfillment, you'll get the joy, you get it all. You get it all. You get the external stuff, the success and the wealth, you get all the internal stuff. It's amazing. And they appreciate what you do. They appreciate your work. And they know, believe, believe me or not, you care or not, your clients know. I don't mean like putting a slogan in a website, Oh, yeah, we care about your clients. We, we, we 100% this and that. I'm not talking about that bullshit. I'm talking about when you are doing other things. Are you thinking about your clients? When you're showering, are you thinking about them? In a good way. 
<laughs> in a good way. When you're browsing uh, uh, some websites, are you seeing, oh, you know, this is an article that could help my client. Or are you sending it to them? That's what I'm talking about. Like uh, Desmond, you would see, like last night, Des, last night I was, you know, I always like send you some messages like 12, 12 o'clock at night, right? Like go to my chair with them, like 12 o'clock, just before I go to bed, right? I always do that, just like kind of fuck him up, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but go ahead. Early. I go to sleep at 11, I wake up at 6, I do the miracle morning, I do the attitude of gratitude with Dan Locke stuff. And every time I'm about to go to sleep, that phone's next to me, it buzzes. I get this weird feeling, I open it, and who's on it? It's Dan. Hey Desmond, check this out, these guys are kicking your ass. And I can't sleep, because I look at it, I'm like, oh shit, I can't be sleeping right now, I gotta, you know, research it, and, and so I stay up till 2 o'clock in the morning. But it's an amazing feeling, because Dan's always got my best interest at mind. I've seen him working at his house. He, he pours more time into thinking about each and every one of the DLIC members than anyone I've ever met in my life. Thank you, Dan. When you truly care, your clients would feel it. Would they feel it? They would feel it. And that's why they stay loyal to you. That's why they send you referrals. They want to see you do better. They want to see you succeed. They want their colleagues, their friends, to experience the same thing. That's how you get referrals. You don't just get referrals and say, oh yeah, I do this, and can you send me some referrals? You get referrals by doing spectacular, amazing work, and you truly care about your clients, you get the referrals. You don't need to ask for the referrals. You could ask, but you don't need to ask. You don't need to ask. So, what have you learned from my talk and how does it apply to you and how do you take direct action? Comment below and let me know. If you have any other questions, you can also comment below. And don't forget, click on the subscribe button, turn on the notification and hit the bell. So every single time I upload a new video, you will get notified. If you want to watch my other videos, make sure you can check them out on the left. You can check out all the other videos that I have. We have hundreds of videos on YouTube. You want to expand on a topic? Check it out.